Josh fell. Yeah, that was getting good. Everyone wants to know about the Rothschilds. The Rothschilds wish to whitewash themselves as much as possible. They fear that the so-called Christians might cease to be unheard of imbeciles, cowards, and bootlickers. Therefore, the Rothschilds pretend or claim their motto is Concordia Industria Integrity. While no family has done more to cause bloody discords and murders and has less integrity than these Satanists. The Rothschilds never made anything useful to humanity. Never created an industry from the first. They started work with enormous capital and they kept for themselves all the benefits. Any means were good for them if they were material advantageous. The Rothschilds have been the backbone of all the political and financial happenings since 1770. Their name ought to be mentioned on each page of the history of every country. The authors, teachers, lecturers, and politicians who do not speak of them must be considered dupes, hypocrites, or criminally ignorant. It's worth Men of intellect must have the courage and patriotism to demand of the professors and teachers in the schools and colleges, as well as of the statesmen, that they tell us the real facts concerning the state of the world's unrest and the cease. And cease feeding us people the such adaptations of the truth that render us docile and inert while the Vultures devour us. Granola, right? Granola? Uh, yeah, I've been eating a lot of it the last two days. <laughs> okay, so I found, uh, oh, it's not hard, it's, it's not easy to get old. There's a seven grain hey, granola at Sprouts uh -huh. from the pump. Oh, I might, I might have got it before. You got it before? The seven grain? Yeah, I, the last one I just got was flaxseed. I, lo I love flaxseed. And I love I, got, you know, I, I just ate my. Uh, the flaxseed is my favorite, actually. But this one has seven grains. So that's a good oh one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But when you get it, it's, I mean, it's a good one to mix, you know, to wash. She sounds hot. Yeah, I just have my sardines. The flaxseed. I eat sardines in my omegas just now. Okay, good. I'm allergic to fish. The histories of the 19th century. Yeah, Stephen Moore. 
born in 1761, etc. <laughs> and directed by the followers of the assassin of Asia Minor. There's no doubt that the soul of Freemasonry is entirely Jewish and utterly anti-Christian, as numberless authors have proved most convincingly. To those who have not been attracted to Freemasonry, I would most emphatically recommend do not join it. It is absolutely hobnobbing with hell and does not even pay. It is selling oneself most shamelessly and one grand gratis. The striking resemblance between the Jewish ritual and the Freemasonry is exposed in the cause of the world unrest and in the world revolution which out, ought to be read by every intelligent man as also Mrs. Webster's secret society. Again, I repeat that all of these references to Freemasonry apply only to the European lodges and practices which are not recognized by Freemasons in America. <laughs> so, okay. So no Shriners were participating in this book. Somebody did a little, a little, uh, what do you call it? Oldsmobiles, little tiny Oldsmobiles in the crates. Okay. Okay. Anyway, 
says, Jews are bad, Jews are bad. Satan's workers. Oh, I got a free Shouldn't be a Jew. I mean, even if you're a good Jew.